Common Core Algebra 1 is a very different course from our, our current Algebra 1. It doesn't sound like it's different because it's got the word algebra and the word one in it, um, but it's, uh, it's much more rigorous. It has higher level topics. Um, a lot of what we currently teach in Algebra 2 is actually going to be taught in Common Core Algebra 1. And uh, some of the topics that we currently teach in a course called Probability and Statistics is going to be in Common Core Algebra 1. Common Core Algebra 1 is a prerequisite for Common Core Algebra 2. Um, Common Core uh, standards and Common Core courses are really preparing our students uh, for, for college, for college level math. It's, they're preparing them for those that don't go to college, they're preparing them for the kind of math they're going to see in their careers. Uh, Common Core is really responding to the need to have better prepared students when they graduate from high school. The Common Core transition does not impact the uh, taking of, of um, advanced placement courses in any way. Um, students who take Common Core Algebra 1, for instance, in ninth grade will need to take two math classes in one of their years in high school. That's actually always been allowed and a lot of students do that. Common Core is a big transition. It's taking place throughout Maryland and practically all the states in the country. But you want to know what's happening with your child and at your school. And our bottom line is we want to answer your questions. So please ask.